What's up guys, TechCrawl19 here, and today I have an unboxing for you guys of the Belkin Mini Display Port to HDMI adapter. I got a couple of shipments by UPS here today, and um, I will be unboxing one of them. And that is the small box, so I'm gonna open this up, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so the box is open, and I will be showing you guys what it looks like and comes in and I will also be showing you guys the setup so that's how it comes in underneath a piece of paper <coughs> and by the way sorry if I sound a little bit weird I do have a running nose on top Price of this was a total of, I believe, thirty-six dollars, and I ordered it from the Apple Store. So that's it for the box. Let's just tuck that away, and here we have the adapter. As you guys see, it's perfect for connecting a MacBook Pro to a HD TV. And uh, yeah, it just has some features in the back. And this is a mini display port to HDMI adapter. By the way, you do need you do need a HDMI cable. This is how it looks like to connect to use this. And this will be working with all HD TVs that support HDMI ports. So. That's how it looks like, and that's pretty much it for the box. And this will also be displaying sound. Okay, so now that I do have that open, let's take out the adapter. And I did have a little bit of a problem with the shipping. It's on Apple's website, and even when they emailed me, it said that it was shipped via FedEx ground and it wasn't working when I went to track the order so I, from, from my experience of ordering stuff I remember that if a tracking number has one Z and then the number on it is um, something shipped by UPS so I went onto UPS and checked and my package was shipped by UPS ground and not FedEx ground so that was a little annoying this is a pretty small adapter but it will get the job done so I'm gonna go and connect this to my TV. This is the mini display port part that goes into the MacBook Pro while the HDMI cable will be plugged into this part over here. For those of you that have the current lineup of Macs, the mini display port will be your Thunderbolt display port which is right over here. So what you will do is you will take this side of your adapter and plug it into your mini display port or Thunderbolt display port. Once you have that in, you will have to plug in your HDMI cable. You will then be left to put in your HDMI cable which into this port right over here. And your HDMI cable will be connected to your TV. So once you have your th um, HDMI cable in, you will have to make sure that it's in tightly. And then you will see something like this come up. And with that coming up, your TV will be your display. As I have on right now, you can have mirroring on, which is a feature that you can have. Sorry about that. Uh, mini, uh, mirroring is a feature you can turn on by clicking on this. You can turn it off too. To set this up, what you have to do is click on settings or system preferences, click on displays. And it should already have detected your display. But in case it doesn't, you might want to click on this button right over here called Detect Display. Once it has that, you will see that blue screen that you saw uh, right before this. As soon as I connect to the HDMI cable, you will see that blue screen. Once you have that on, you can turn on mirroring and have this. So uh, you can use your computer as keyboard and mouse and your TV as your external monitor 
or big screen. And so, as you see, you do that, and it works. Um, everything you do on this goes on to that. And if you do not want that, you can turn off mirroring. By clicking on this button right over here. And as you see, this is... If I do anything on this, if I do anything on this, it does not happen on this. So then what that does is, it creates like a separate window, so what you can do is, you can take your cursor, which is right over here, drag it up, or in this case to the side. Once you take it to the side, it will show up on this. When it shows up on this, then, well, as you guys can see, you can use this. You can drag windows from this into here. And you can also drag it right back onto here. And to have your audio played through your, um, your TV, what you will have to do is, let me just turn on the room. So, what you will have to do is, you will have to click on, well you have to go back, click on system preferences, and go to sound. Once you go to sound, you have to click on it, and make your output your TV, or if you have another set of speakers, you can use that. So, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this was helpful. And um, please remember to subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And, well, yeah, that's it for now. Bye, guys.